Welcome to this short animated film designed to show you how bus rapid transit phase one Ferrum to Gosport will look when it's finished at the end of March 2011. This visualization shows the new planting as it will look once fully established. The buses are white, but once the route is open, they and the bus stops will display the new BRT brand. Look out for the introduction of this over the coming months. Designed to support transport in your community, BRT Phase 1 is the first stage in Hampshire County Council's plans for a bus priority network that will link key towns and destinations in South East Hampshire. Providing a viable alternative to the car will be essential if the region is to support the government's plans for growth in housing and employment. Phase 1 brings back a disused public transport route into use as a new, dedicated corridor for reliable and frequent bus travel in one of the most congested parts of Hampshire. The busway is being built on the disused railway line between Redlands Lane in Fairham and Tichborne Way in Gosport. Using the new busway, buses will be able to avoid congested parts of the busy A32 so that passengers can benefit from reliable journey times and can plan their onward travel connections, a must for commuters. Here we are following the bus on its northbound journey from Gosport to Fairham. Safety barriers will be provided along the route, together with noise barrier fencing where appropriate. As well as buses and emergency service vehicles, cyclists will be permitted to use the busway. Passengers using BRT services can expect a lot more from their travel experience. This includes high quality waiting facilities with real time passenger information advising on the arrival times of the next buses, comfortable seating, lighting and closed circuit TV for security and special facilities to ensure accessibility for all. The buses that travel on the BRT route will be subject to a special agreement between Hampshire County Council and the bus operators. The result will be a more efficient service using new, comfortable, low emission buses that will raise the bus travel experience to a higher level. Looking after the environment has been a key consideration in the design and construction of the route, as well as working closely with Natural England to ensure that wildlife on the disused railway corridor has been protected and relocated, we will ensure that the new corridor is as green as possible. Only cyclists, emergency service vehicles, maintenance vehicles and buses will be permitted to use the route. To help us reduce our carbon footprint, Low-level street lighting has only been provided at junctions and bus stops. In addition, most bus stops will use solar-powered lighting. Local residents' privacy and security are also a priority, so solid boundary fencing, replacement planting and noise barriers will screen properties and keep noise to a minimum. Closed-circuit TV cameras on the busway and at all bus stops together with street lighting and community police patrols will also help ensure security and prevent crime. Buses have priority on the busway. As the bus approaches a major junction, the traffic lights automatically change to red for normal traffic, turning green for buses. Here you can see the system in action at which lane junction. The BRT Phase 1 busway will provide a traffic-free shortcut for buses that currently run on the local routes in the community. Rather than being delayed on the regularly congested A32, these buses will be able to use the BRT busway for part of their journey, making them more efficient and reliable. For passengers, using BRT couldn't be easier. 
To benefit from the BRT route, just look out for BRT branded bus stops in your area. Full bus route details, travel and timetable information will be available nearer to the launch date. BRT is different, new and exciting. As well as being striking from the outside, the new look buses will have luxurious interiors for a stress-free, comfortable ride. You can expect BRT to offer a lot more for bus travellers too, with off-bus ticketing options, travel cards and comprehensive travel information on board, online and direct to your mobile. You needn't expect to pay more though. Fares will be in line with current local bus fares. The busway will be used by more than one bus service, giving passengers the choice of getting the first bus or waiting for one that better suits their travel plans. For guidance, real-time passenger information screens will display when the next bus will arrive. Passengers with visual impairment will be provided with a special device that activates an oral mode on the screens. In the longer term, Transport for South Hampshire wants to deliver an extensive bus rapid transit network of high quality transport services. This includes extending Phase 1 to Fareham via the railway station in the north and Gosport in the south, and on to Portsmouth, Tipner, Port Solent and the Queen Alexandra Hospital, to Havant in the east, with links to the ZIP 41 route to Waterlooville, westwards to Whiteley, Sedgensworth and beyond. Ultimately, the wider BRT network will directly benefit 100,000 households. That's around 230,000 people who live within one kilometre of the proposed scheme, giving them a viable alternative to car travel. A further 28,000 dwellings are planned for South East Hampshire, which would bring over 250,000 people within a 10-minute walk of the route. You can expect more from BRT. Phase 1, Fareham to Gosport, is just the beginning. For further information, go to the website address currently displayed on screen or call 0845 603 5633. South East Hampshire Bus Rapid Transit Phase 1 Fareham to Gosport is being delivered by Transport for South Hampshire and Hampshire County Council in conjunction with BAM Nuttall, Mott Gifford and the South Hampshire Bus Operators Association. £20 million of funding has been provided for this project by the Government via the Homes and Communities Agency without which it would not have been affordable.